Hello fans, this week we're, we're going to be looking at the cone cap mantle once again. So um, on my last video I just did a quick hack to make it work, but uh, a gentleman on the uh, Facebook page, the Aladdin Knights Facebook page, um, his name is Rod Mann, and, uh, an older gentleman, and uh, he uh, pointed out that uh, this is what he does. So he's been doing this for quite some time. So that's a picture that he submitted, so thanks, Rod. I really appreciate you uh, pointing this out to me. And he cuts four notches in it, which you're supposed to do. So I did get the lamp going the other day. I did change the wick. Burns much, much better with a fresher wick, and uh, it works really well. Um, I can only get it to about three quarters. So I'm really thinking that my mod wasn't fully complete. So if anybody's done it, well, it's not a big deal. You can finish it. So you can just put the extra slots in. The trickiest part is to find the center. So you need to sort of scribe it uh, and go from there. I, I also have another tip here too. So if you have, if you see these um, style um, in this box, I pulled this one out and it was broken. And I took it off and threw it out and I took a... Uh, 80s production, I guess it was 80s, I don't know, yeah, it was one of these guys, uh, so I'll put it down, so it is made in uh, Brazil, it looks like, Brasilia, yes, maybe, yes, exactly, made in Brazil, took one of those, uh, I'm just out of st I'm out of stock of the new ones. I got to get up to my guy and pick up a couple boxes of new ones. And, but I took one of those and I just basically cut it, cut it apart to get it out. Now, on this particular style, if you take a close look, it actually has a hook. So it's pretty simple. You have to insert a little, uh, like a lever in there to open up the hook a little bit. I used a pick, opened it up. Then I took the mantle and. And you have to modify, you gotta be very careful when you modify this mantle. You have to, basically, you need to, I've got it real close up. You need to support it with needle nose pliers before you start bending it, or you're gonna, you're gonna change the diameter of this piece here and you're gonna break it. So you gotta kinda hold it and you gotta sort of peen it together, twist it together, and then you can loop it over. I'll see if I can get a better shot of that kind of see what I did so that way it sits at the right position so so if you got any of those ones those ones are you know you can just kind of put a new mantle on it on an old one so there's different materials that these are made of so the one that I did the other day was steel it's pretty heavy and uh this is aluminum this one over here that came out of the box I think is tin so they went from tin to to steel and then to aluminum at the at the very end so this was prob if i'm not mistaken this was one of the last productions in 2007 or that year on the white box so um what i did is i just snip off the sides rod takes these things off here uh i don't think it's necessary you can do it if you're worried about it but it actually gives you something to manhandle there when you're locking it in and another good thing to do is when you're doing this is to have a couple of these guys lying around so when you make your notches if they're off a little bit you can see them underneath as they line up so what I did is um, even easier is the old-fashioned Dremel tool with a little cutoff disc so that's the easiest thing that makes like this took 20 seconds to do uh, four basic squares rod turns a couple of them down to act as stops I didn't yet uh, I'm gonna play with this a bit better I'm gonna this one that I did the other day, I put the extra notches in, so I'm going to put the mantle back on and fire it up and test it out tonight. Uh, this is just a spare that I'll have kicking around. And then that one there is pretty much good to go back into the box for now in case I want to run an original style. But uh, anyway, so uh, I hope that helps you guys out with your cone cap conversions. Um, yeah, he says don't bend them up as much as this. He says that uh, causes some turbulence too. So. I'm gonna take his advice. He seems a very nice gentleman. And so I'm just gonna push that down just a hair. Same as there. So it's not quite, he pulls them down for stops. I pulled mine up for stops. So maybe I'll play with that a little bit. So if anybody's gone ahead and done theirs um, and the performance is not what it is, then you might wanna pull it off and finish cutting the extra two squares out. So, you know, maybe it was pushing it up just a little on the sides or whatever, but 
anyway it's all about you know having fun with you know with these lamps and uh seeing what works and what doesn't work and but that model six once i get that thing dialed boy it's gonna it's gonna, it's gonna produce some really nice light maybe i'll shoot a video on that later well uh hope that helps and uh, have yourselves a great day